<laughs> ah, The Crucible. It's, it's an interesting book. Hello, Catholic Controversy here, and, uh, you know The Crucible, right? Uh, Arthur Miller's big commentary on McCarthyism, the book that is about the Salem Witch Trials, that is a allegory for the 1950s McCarthyism, and the trying to find the communists and weeding out the communists. And it's still read today because it's like the only real piece of contemporary classic literature that uh, is almost like pro-communism sort of a deal. Yeah, I remember reading it back in 10th grade uh, when I was 15 years old, but uh, here's a little bit of literary analysis that uh, I didn't realize until a while ago, much later though, um, long after I was out of college, really started to kind of understand the world a little bit better. Um, John Proctor is a sex offender. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, in the book, the entire reason that all this happened is because John Proctor had relationships with Abigail. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, Abby, she didn't kill half the town because she had some sort of delusion that she could be with John Proctor, and uh, John never let her on at all. No, it's like, uh, they actually say in the book, from what I remember, that uh, John Proctor actually did have a relationship with Abigail. And uh, that messed her up really, really bad. To the point that she was ready to kill half the town in order to be with him. <laughs> and it's not like uh, she just had a crush on him and he uh, never reciprocated. No, he definitely reciprocated. They said that he reciprocated. John Proctor is in like his 30s. Abigail is like 13 or 15 or whatever. She is a child. John Proctor is an adult. You know, we should all, instead of being sad that John Proctor was hanging from the gallows, we should all be happy that he's hanging from the gallows. It sucks that uh, half the town had to hang with him, but, you know, it's a good thing that he's dead and that he was executed because, you know, under modern times, that'd be really bad. <laughs> hey, YouTube, Daily Motion, how am I supposed to classify this video? Like, really, how am I supposed to classify this video? I mean, this is some literary analysis that is meant to for teenagers. I didn't read this book when I was 16. I read this when I was 15. I'm targeting 15 year olds. But you know what? The COPA rules say that anything that targets anyone that's under 16 years old has to be marketed as for children. But this video is not for children, not in the slightest. It's talking about crazy adult themes. Like this video right here. This is like a very, very hard TV-14. It's getting up there into the TV-MA territory. Like, this is something that you would not want on YouTube Kids. This is not Baby Shark or even Spider-Man and Elsa. This is like some really heavy stuff going on right here. This is not something that you would want children to be watching. But you know, because the rules are, well, they are, I have to market this, this as for children because I'm targeting the 14 and 15 year olds that are in high school that would be watching this, that'd be reading this book. This serves absolutely no purpose for an adult. Like, what adult needs to care about the crucible? <laughs> I mean, maybe some English teachers might have to care about the crucible, but no, this is primarily for the teenagers in high school, the 14 and 15 year olds ones that are technically still children. How am I supposed to classify this? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. This video here broke Copa. This has been Catholic Controversy signing off. And bye-bye.